Welcome back my boys and girls. So today we're going to be taking a quick look at a new image for the Odroid XU4. This is a RetroPie build based off of the Odroid Retro Arena RetroPie release. Pretty sweet stuff. Um, this is going to be a 200 gigabyte build, but we'll kind of talk about that more later. Might get smaller, might get bigger. Um, either 128 to 256. Not 100% at the moment, but right now, this is sitting at close to 200 gigabytes. Um, and like I said, that may change. I've tested quite a bit of games on here. The biggest thing that people are looking at the Odroid XU4 for is that Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, and PSP compatibility being a hell of a lot better than the Raspberry Pi 3. So I'd said a while back, 2018, is the year of the Odroid XU4. And hey, I wasn't kidding. But, you know, the price difference, to me it's not major, but you're looking at almost double the price of a Pi 3. Obviously, both systems, you would need to have power supply, HDMI, memory, controllers, all that kind of stuff. Um, the Odroid XU4, you know, either if you want to use Wi-Fi, you're going to have to use a dongle or go through, you know, the Ethernet port, which is what I'm doing. Um, but you have options there. So I wanted to kind of take a look at what this build is going to contain. It's going to be out there for, you know, some people to mess around with to kind of test. Like I said, I've tested a nice handful of games with those systems that we're most interested in, but I haven't tested everything yet. But we'll touch on that in a little bit once we get to those systems. So I just want to kind of go through and see what we have on here at this moment. So scrolling down, you know, a lot of basics that we're accustomed to, they work. They work on the Pi 3, they work on here. 32X, we got 33 games. SG-1000, we got 68. Super Nintendo 785. Infocom, we've got Zork 1, 2, and 3. Atari 2600, 664 games. 5200, we got 81. And the other thing I want to say too is that everything does have video snaps, artwork, everything contained in there. Game lists are going. Might need to tweak some things, edit some things, but for the most part, it's on point. So 5200, we said 81. 7800, we got 58. Atari Lynx, 76. Daphne says 29, but no, they're not 29 games. They are 11. Reason being is because this ROMs folder in here that has part of the uh, the games in there to be able to run but we only have 11 so we've got you know Astron Belt never played it Cliffhanger yeah I've played that one Dragon Slayer Dragon Slayer 2 a lot of people don't like Dragon Slayer 2 I kind of enjoy it but it's kind of story wise kind of hokey um, I mean I guess none of these are really the most amazing stories but you know it's just oh the princess kidnapped again what the hell's going on it's just kind of all over the place but it's still pretty interesting i just think all these daphne games are frustrating but i did i've always enjoyed dragon slayer one a little bit you know at least we don't gotta pump quarters into this bad boy because i know when this came out i remember seeing it for like 50 cents a play um some places were a dollar it's just nuts man just nuts Galaxy Ranger Inter Interstellar Laser Fantasy Mach 3. And then, like I said, that ROMs folder. It's kind of messing up the game count. Space Ace. Pretty fun, but mm, it's okay. The little, you know, changing back and forth. You know, the Infanto Ray, whatever you call it, where it's, you know, he's turning you into a child. And, ah, it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting. Different ways to play, though. Super Don Quixote, Thayer's Quest, and Us versus Them. So... Nice 11 games for Daphne. Pretty sweet stuff. Dreamcast, now that is where the magic happens, right? This is where everybody's looking at. We currently, it says 160 games, but be up front right now. There are not 160 games on here for Dreamcast. Reason being is um, there's some file format things going on here with some games, but also there are multi-disc games, which I'll, I'll show you. Uh, in a moment here um, and, and touch on something with that as well but realistically I think we are sitting at around 140 games for the Dreamcast that's on this build at the moment but I just wanted to point that out it's not 160 it's around 140 yeah still a lot of freaking games right for the Dreamcast they're pretty big too hence why we're on 200 gigabytes at the moment um, but a lot of good ones the Capcom vs SNK the uh, fan disc from Japan uh, the first one, the second one, K 
Carrier was an interesting one. I remember playing that. Had a lot of fun with Choo Choo Rocket as well. What, what else do we got here? So, okay, like the D2, Disc 1, 2, and 3. I got to check the artwork on those. Um, or the game list anyway, because I know the artwork's on here. Got to double check that, make sure that's on point. Um, but it, I remember that game. I remember being fascinated by that game. I got I to gotta revisit that one. Daytona, Dead or Alive 2 was one I really enjoyed on the Dreamcast. Echo the Dolphin, Evolution 1 and 2, pretty sweet uh, role-playing games. Expendable, it's file format thing, gotta, gotta double check on that. Um, Fighting Force 2, eh. Fighting Vipers 2, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. And like I said, the little file format thing's kinda uh, messing with a few games, not too many, but like I said, 140. Don't, don't forget, 140 at the moment. Disc 1 and 2 on those, let's see, what else? Lots of classics, lots of amazing games on here that you guys are going to remember if you're Dreamcast fans. Mr. Driller, what? Pretty sweet game. But yeah, I got to double check some of these. Got to double check. So what I've done is, um, oh, here's Shenmue. Shenmue 1, 2, and 3. Disc 1, 2, and 3. Not Shenmue 1, 2, and 3. That would be uh, pretty interesting, right? But no. Um... It's disc 1, 2, and 3, but I do need to edit this so it says disc 1, 2, and 3, which is no big deal, especially with a small set of games. Once you're jumping through like 1,500, 3,000 games, it is pretty intense to go through <coughs> and edit the names, you know, like arcade stuff, for example, two-player, four-player version, stuff like that. With a small set like this, definitely intend on tidying that up. Uh, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2... Um, all, you know, pretty much, if you could think of it, it's most likely on here for Dreamcast. With Dreamcast, I have tested a, a nice chunk of, of games. And I want to say, I couldn't tell you exactly how many I've tested, but I know it's been, it's not really been hit or miss. It's been kind of 80% hit and then 20% miss. So there's certain things I want to revisit, look at, um, and kind of kind of see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But definitely... The compatibility is a hell of a lot better, plays a hell of a lot better than the Retro Pi. So there's that for now. Final Burn Alpha 1523, a lot of awesome games. Famicom Disk System, we're sitting at 91. Game Gear 332, Game Boy 861, Television 137. Pretty good stuff. Like I said, most of these are going to have box art and the video snap pop up right behind it. That's the way the game lists and everything's set up. And the theme supports that, so it works out great. We do have Cody on here. MAME, we're sitting at 921 games. I do have to go back through because I think there's a handful of these that I need to double check and test uh, and make sure if they belong on here or not. But that's something I'll, I'll do at a later time. I'm looking more for people to, to help out with the Dreamcast, Nintendo 64 side of things to, to test stuff out with those. Mega Drive 901. Pretty awesome stuff. What the heck was that? Oh, it's a homebrew. Nintendo 64, 303, the comp complete US library. Um, I've gone through and tested quite a few of these as well and pretty similar results to Dreamcast, but a little better, I would say, than um, the results with Dreamcast. Definitely getting a lot higher compatibility here. Um, and then certain games that wouldn't play or struggled on the Pi, you know, play on here. Some might have some minor glitches, but a lot of stuff we could look at and, and try to figure out. But so far, pleasantly surprised, Nintendo 64 is working great. Neo Geo, 142 games. Love the Neo Geo, man. And it's just a given, you know, all those, those games are going to run perfectly fine on this system. NES, 865. You know what we got, all the classics, bunch of beautiful stuff here. Um, then to the ports, we have a lot of uh, pre-installed stuff on the, the base Pi, uh, retro Pi image. Um, I've played a handful of these before. I have not played them on here, like Marathon, definitely have played those. Doom, Cave Story. Um, Cave Story's a, an interesting one, it's pretty fun. I, I know at a... Uh, is it Micro Center? Yeah, Micro Center. Whenever I go to Micro Center, they have a, a Raspberry Pi set up 
with a controller. And it's in like a little a little plexiglass case, and the controller's coming out, and you could sit there and play Cave Story. Thought that was pretty interesting. Don't know why the uh, the video froze on that, but this is none of the stuff I messed with. This was pre-installed, but still pretty pretty cool stuff we got here for sure. Um, PSP 37 games. Um, I've tested a handful. Still, like the main focus to me is testing Dreamcast, PSP, Nintendo 64, and just getting solid sets that everybody knows we can use. Because there's still going to be some issues. And to me, if it's not 99%, 99.9%, I'm not going to play it. If there's too much graphics glitching, if the frame rate's dipping too, you know, it is not 90, 95%, 99%. It, it's just not enjoyable to me, uh, depending on the game. Um, it just really depends on the game. So I, I'm looking for input on that so we can get a solid set of things tested here so that we know everything is on point and working so we're going to be um testing this uh it's going to be put out there tomorrow next day somewhere around there uh people will be playing around with this seeing what to do trying to you know see if we can find games that don't run or games that do run. you know whatever whatever just kind of trying to do everybody a nice little service of saying hey these, this is the set of games we want to use these don't work or these need to be tweaked that kind of thing so that's all my goal is with this uh with this image like i said at the moment it's 200 gigabytes it may shrink it may get bigger i don't really think it'll get bigger i mean i could do a 256 but i don't know we'll see we'll see how we feel with that so appreciate you guys stopping in didn't really want to play any games with this at the moment just wanted to kind of do a quick overview i mean it's about 10 12 minute video do a little overview of what we got going on, talk about a little bit. You know what I'm talking about here. So appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button, subscribe, do all that sweet stuff. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.